Okay, what's up, y'all? Um, one thing that I'm, I've learned uh, in helping individuals is there's a lot of individuals that are unfortunate. Um, they don't know how to go to court and talk like me. Um, people, I am the youngest one in my family. Um, I used to always have to fight my three brothers. I got three older brothers. That made me tough. Um, this is a characteristic that you cannot, it's very seldom that someone can borrow this characteristic about um, not being afraid. I remember um, when I was, when we went on my high school year trip, uh, senior, senior trip, and we went to Six Flags in, in New Jersey, um, exit 7A off the New Jersey Turnpike. And I remember I took a water balloon and I threw it at the principal. And when I did that, people were looking at me like, why? Oh, my God. When I was in the military, I reported an incident against my first sergeant. People was like. So people I have been and I am an introvert. I have this certain thing about me that I don't recognize the quote unquote consequences of my actions. But there's a flip side to that. I don't do anything wrong, so I don't think anything should happen to me. After all, I'm 53 years old. I've never been arrested. All of my arrests have been behind family court and child support. I've never been arrested. Oh, I'm sorry. I have been arrested twice, but I sued for both of those. Thank you to the East. Thank you to the Orange and East Orange Police Department. So I have this way about me where Thanks to my brothers making me tough, I don't believe in that punk thing. All right, where am I going with this? There's a lot of people that will come into this office and would say, I seen one of your videos, I'm ready, I'm pumped. Get in court, lay an egg. People, you can actually request, as long as you're the one that asks for as long as you're the one to put the petition in, you can ask for a zero verbal court hearing. And you ask for a zero verbal court hearing because you want to lay out what you have to say and you don't want to talk. It's kind of like I didn't say what I said, conversation's over with. Now, let me tell you, um, about an incident. I help, I was helping a client when I was, the office was in New Jersey and the client, his wife had an attorney and I, I remember the case like it was yesterday. They had got a divorce. She worked for the IRS and she got a, in New Jersey, she got a $4,000 a year raise, but the job was in Texas. All right. And so they put in a petition for to move. When they put the petition in the move, they asked for it's called zero testimony. So no testimony means you put it in up, oh, you can't say nothing. So the guy came to my office and they were Muslims. And they had a house and I remember they had a house and they, they got like $150,000 back from the equity. She got 75,000. He got 75,000. Now she got a raise and she wants to move to, to Texas. When in fact, oh, I'm going to just tell y'all. Okay. So he comes to the offices of the league of dads. I looks at the petition I kid you not, the petition is this thick. I responded three pages. My client was mad because he was like, you know, they said all of that and we're not saying anything. I said, actually what we're saying a lot. The way a petition works is 
You have to answer to everything in the petition. If she say on Tuesday, I want him not to see him. On Thursday, I want that. You got to say on Tuesday, the Tuesday request, she knows I have to work a double on Tuesday. The Wednesday request, she already knows that I rest because I worked a double. So I don't, can't pick the child up on that day. Blah, blah. You got to answer. An itemized list of requests has to be answered in the same perspective. So this woman had everything covered. She had... Visitation will not be bothered because the children, I can do a video conference. The children can see their dad via video and I am getting a raise. It's a $4,000 a year raise. I need to, and then she also put in there, I need to get away from him. They packaged it up like the father was bad and I got to get away from him. The way I answered every little thing, number one, oh, she also said on every holiday, let's just say there was, I think there's 11 holidays. Let's just say that there are 10, eight holidays, eight. She said, he, I can send the, the children can fly three kids, fly back to New Jersey on every holiday. And, but she, they packaged it up nice. And then of course, if they would have gave it to her, um, it would have been, the children got something to do. They can't come every holiday. You know, you know, women. So I answer to everything. As far as the visitation, visitation via video is nothing like visitation in person. This woman is claiming everything in his custody is I, 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 I. I said, nothing in this thing talked about the teamwork of two parents caring for the child. Everything is I. If not, Focus on the fact that she is saying, I have to get away from him. I responded to the, I have to get away with him with, she got away from him when they got a divorce. Now, far as her saying that this move is all about a $4,000 a year raise, three kids flying back and forth eight times, as she said, will burn through a $4,000. So that is just not. I said, for the mere fact that she is moving away from, from uh, moving away and now is going to be on her own, she is going to have to hire babysitting for three kids because they all was under eight. Three kids, $4,000 is gone. I answered to everything in three pages. I told him when he filed it, still go down there and because they requested zero testimony. That's a that's a fuck you method. I, I promise you. I said they require for zero testimony, but still go down there. I'm glad he did. Guess what happened on a court date? The attorney was down. She was down there with her attorney. When the woman came out and said, well, why are you guys here? The attorney said, well, we have something to say based on what he filed in his response. The bailiff had to remind the attorney, you requested zero testimony. You will not see the court today. He will look at both things and he will make a determination. She then asked my client, the judge was, the judge was wondering, who did your paperwork for you? He said, I went to the League of Dads, said the judge is very impressed with your response. She did not get rewarded the move. He came back to my office crying and gave me a bottle of champagne. People, I can't, I cannot, I cannot put it out there enough. When you're fighting for custody, when you're going to court for child support, you need coaching. 732-947-1988. Text help to me. We'll get you started. Zero testimony. It, I use it for my clients that are nervous. You file zero testimony. You go to court. You don't have to say nothing. I'll file the paperwork. The paperwork will do all the talking for you. Remember my narrative if you never heard it before. 
You cannot rebuttal anything that I say. Later, y'all.